D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and this is a continuation video from the previous video of diagnosing uh, the problem with this Mitsubishi mini split unit let me grab the cover real quick to recap to, uh, to recap <laughs> not to recap to recap we had uh, we had six um, flashes and it says um, serial signal abnormality and it's a communication between indoor and outdoor unit that was the fault codes and if you want to see that go see the, per, uh, the previous video all right and um so if you want to see the diagnostic but now i got it everything all off the previous video i didn't do i didn't do all that i just barely moved the cover a little bit in the front but i got it all completely out right now i'm going to change so the diagnostic was um we had no power going into the indoor unit which ended up giving you a fault code of communication six flashes right but fuses and everything was okay you know these are the covers for the fuses you know i checked the fuses and fuses was good what i found there was a problem with the uh, uh noise filter board whereas the main power goes in but only one one of these two lines was getting out to go to power the indoor unit so that was a diagnostic um, even though it was a communication problem or six flashes uh communication fault it it ended up it being that this board was a culprit all right so i'm just gonna put this in real time you guys could see oh the box just fall all right um so yeah this is where the uh the plug for the two wires that goes to these fuses and um yeah when i checked on the board I wasn't getting no power. I was getting only one line on one of these pins. And you know, the line one, line two goes into this board, the first place, and then it goes on to, you know, this board right here, um, this board, and then, you know, also as well as inside. So let me go. Real time, I'll, I'll be putting the camera down as I, as I work. I'm doing this real time. Also, this thing doesn't have a disconnect switch, a service disconnect switch. So I just pulled the wires out. Carefully, I did that. Don't try this at home. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Okay. I think that's a good view of things. See what's going on. All right. It should take me a couple of minutes to do this. Okay. As a matter of fact, I got a better option idea right here. Just bear with me. This is real time, real world. So. Put it over here we'll be closer to the action okay so you can see me pull that out all right here you go close enough all right but, uh, i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this real fast guys you know uh, these plugs you just pull them out you can't go wrong where they go you know it's you have to really try hard to mess these up all right up the main board it's in the way this one right here of the main of this one comes off the main board in the front put them out of the way
uh, like I said, everything will fall back into place. Everything will fall right back into place. Um, better hang Everything falls right back into place, so don't worry about the wires, you know. So now you have to try hard to mess it up. Naturally. So, the new one right here, this brown wire. This brown wire is the first wire. See? That's secure. I know it's a crazy crazy angle but uh I'm trying to get it my best so you guys can see what's going on here perhaps if I go over here okay, that's better okay old board
push it up. It's pretty straightforward. With these plugs. Just go right back in the place. You can't mess them up because they're color coded for once and for two. Uh, you know, everything lines back up, you know, right where exactly where you take it from. Even the wire plugs connection, the wires that the, the power wires connection, everything lines up. Alright, so you shouldn't have to have any problem with that. Fitness all of it. Everything is bad, I think so. Fitness all of it. All the wires is back connected. And uh, so once I check and I have power, if I have power going to my indoor unit, it was a success. Alright, so I'm gonna connect this one right here to ground. You probably can't see, or you can, you can see. All right, it's gonna put the drone back. Oh crap, I didn't put this on it here. So we're gonna it real quick, make it nice. Neat. This goes out of here like that. Okay. All right, so everything is back how I found it. Everything is back how I found it. Gonna put this back on the ground over here. And then I'm gonna power it up and just check and see if I got power going inside, that's all. And that's it, you know, let me just do that. Um, I'm just gonna put that down. Screw. One of these screws, I don't know. All right. Like I said, there's no disconnect switch here, so I'm just gonna do this real time live. You know, so like I said, don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing, because this could, this right here could be dangerous. All right, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this at home. Okay. If you don't know what you're doing, do not try this at home. I repeat, do not try this at home. You know, try to connect the power live. All right, if you don't know what you're doing, do not attempt to do this such things. You have to be well aware of what you're doing. Be an expert, all right, at this. You know, you can't be a beginner. You know, you gotta be an expert at this and know exactly what you're doing, what you're getting into, know the risk, know the dangers if you're trying to do, to mess with the, with the power live like this. Okay, I'm able to do it because I'm well, I'm well, uh, I, I, know, I know it's dangerous, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm aware of the dangers so I can, you know, pretty much pr protect myself. 
and uh, you know, no issues, right? So don't try this at home. Don't try to mess around with the power. Get to the disconnect switch or the circuit breaker, and uh, and uh, you know, turn the power off. All right, let's check for power now. Let's see if our, our diagnostic was a success. The voltage on here. So we're in voltage, AC voltage. Let's see if we got power going to our uh, indoor. Okay, so it'll go across uh, these two terminals right here. This one and this two. And you're seeing it real time here, real time. As I'm seeing it, you're seeing it. That's 208 volts, so we're good to go. So the diagnostic was correct. It is a success. The six flashes and uh, the six flashes for communication error, uh, or serial communication, whatever it says there, uh, you know, watch the first video or the second. Uh, yeah, I did, the, I did the show the faults in the beginning of the video. Let me do it again. <laughs> so these are right here. Fault number six. Serial signal abnormality, and it says uh, possible causes communication circuit between indoor and outdoor unit faulty, etc. Uh, fuse uh, five and six, F five and six faulty. The fuses was fine. These are the fuses they're talking about right here. All right, these are the fuses right there. All right, so yeah, so. Uh, Again, it's a success. It was a noise filter board. All right, you like this video? Give it a thumbs up. Hold on, let me before you before I go. I want to uh, check the uh, the power, the fuses, so you guys could see. We are good over there. So if I go across, and I always have these things backward, man. All right, so I'm on the fuses, as you can see. Come on, focus camera. I'm on the fuses, test leads. So I'm good. Um, before, we was getting only one line, one of two lines coming through to those fuses, right? So the fuses is fine. If I go in the front of the fuses. So I mean, oh. Look, this thing turned on right there. <laughs> How about that? Oh, that's crazy, right? Wow, you see? The danger is in the fall. You gotta know what you're doing. Okay, this could have been a crazy... I could have gotten hurt right here, right? So that's why you need to have... This is a faulty... Not a faulty, but a, 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 a hack of a job. Because we should have a service disconnect close by. They didn't do that. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. And once again, do not try what you see me do here at home. If you're not a pro, you uh, this is a clear sign you could get hurt if you don't know what you're doing. All right? You know, I'm alert. You know, I've, I've been around, I've been around, been in this field for a while, so I can do stuff like this and get away with it. But you may not be so lucky. Follow the uh, proper protocol. Turn off the service to the unit, uh, service, uh, service power supply. What about the circuit breaker or the disconnect switch if there's none? Go to the main circuit breaker, turn it off. Because you can see the fan starts to get chopped up. Uh, you can get electrocuted over there by the power supply. All right. But this video is just to show you that the six faults communication was in fact the uh, noise filter board.